video we will show you how to get signed up with Loom.com and install the Loom desktop app. First, you're going to want to navigate to Loom.com. From here, you can click the button Get Loom for Free. It will prompt you to sign in. You should click Sign in with Google and use your SNC email to log in. Once you sign in, you will be prompted with a window of their Terms of Service. Simply click I agree to continue. Now on this next screen, select Education and click Continue. This is how you get a free account with Loom as Loom is now free for educators. On this next screen, select Desktop App to download the Loom Desktop App. It will automatically download once you've clicked this. We suggest you use the desktop app over this Chrome extension because it has more capabilities such as recording a PowerPoint. If you end up clicking I'll choose later, you'll still be able to download the app. After clicking X and not now on the various dialog boxes that come up from first logging in, you can click more and then desktop app. You will be shown a web page that is asking you to download it. Once you click the button on your screen, then you can hit finish installing and it will download. If you are in Chrome, you can either open the file seen at the bottom of your screen or you will find it in your downloads folder. Once you open it, if you are in Mac, drag the Loom app into your applications folder. In Windows, you will run the executable. After the Loom setup screen closes, you'll be able to search for your Loom app and open it. Now, you can navigate to your Applications folder and open the Loom app. Click Open on the dialog box that pops up. Click OK on the next dialog box to allow the app access to system events. Once you've done that, you'll need to sign in again with your SNC email. Your first time signing into the desktop app will show you a basic tutorial. The important part of going through this is to allow Loom access to your camera, your microphone, and the ability to re screen record. After allowing everything, you'll need to quit the app and restart it for the permissions to take effect. Now you can reopen Loom and begin recording. If you want to learn how to record with Loom, check the video linked in the description below. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact ITS.